Hey guys, Kevin Smasham here with a quick start tutorial guide on how to set up TSM for the first time. Everything that you need to know about where to download the TSM uh, add-ons pack that I'm putting together will be in the description, as well as a link to the Tradesco Master website where you can download the desktop app, create an account, and attach servers slash realms to your trade skill master for you to have sources for your value of your items when you uh, mouse over like so. See all of this information that I'm getting when I mouse over these? Anyway, so let's just dive into it. Basically, it breaks down into two main parts. Groups, which is where you will put items into separate groups and operations, which tells what to do with each of these groups. There's auctioning operations. It tells how to sell a specific group or items in that group. Crafting, it tells how to craft specific items in that group and when to craft them. Mailing, it tells where to send automatically through the mailbox. Items in specific groups. And lastly, there's shopping. It shows how to buy items in specific groups. The first thing you're going to want to learn and you're going to want to know is to go to the first tab and set up the macro for selling. I choose Alt, but you can pick any of the alternate keys, Control or Shift as well, up and down on the mouse wheel. And you just click this a few, a handful of times just to make sure that it binds because it doesn't always bind properly. And now you'll be able to, when you go to auction, once you've set up groups and operations for auctioning, you'll be able to quickly post all of your auctions using this macro. First, what I do is create groups. You will group things by different types. For instance, you may have cloth in one group. You may have cloth that you farm in a subgroup and cloth that you use for crafting in another group so that you treat them differently and mail them to different characters and auction them differently. Like some, you may not choose to sell, but you may choose to buy on, on occasion. So groups are very important in keeping your groups concise and keeping small groups that separate different items based on what you plan to do with those items is very important. So I'm just going to create a simple group and I'm just going to call it cheap. I'm just going to call it transmog. And in this group, I'm going to create a subgroup. All you have to do is go to management. Well, selected in the group, you can create a new subgroup. I'm going to call it 1K to 2.5K mogs. Okay. Now in this subgroup, I'm going to put any items worth 1 to 2.5K. If I have any in, in my inventory. There's one. There's two, three, four, five. No, not that one. Five. So there's at least five items will go into this subgroup. Now, if you go and look at the, the main group, it may have more because it will have whatever is in the subgroups. And you can also put these things into the main group if you want. And you could just add them in. And then when you click here, it'll just be these five in the subgroup. Now what we need to do is create an operation. You can either go from the group to operations and override and create a new operation. Or I like to do everything through the operations panel just so that I know that I'm making an operation and not a group. The operation name is going to be called single high val. You may also make one called uh, 10 stack. And you may also create one called 200 stack. And basically what you're going to do is for this one, I'm going to put minimum price 90% DB market. I'm going to put the normal price as 150% DB DB market. 
and the maximum price is 500% DB market. There's a lot of ways that you can do this. I'm doing this for the sake of ease because I know that the DB market algorithm used by TradeSkillMaster is very is relatively accurate, not extremely accurate, but relatively accurate and it's usually within about 10%. So I would say that going for a 90% minimum, you're looking at the risk of potentially selling things for 80%, but that's just a margin of error. But yeah, that's basically how it works. And then you can say when it's below the minimum, you can have it not post, or you can choose any of these options. Um, or, and then there's also the option of, uh, if it's above maximum, what does it do? Does it not post or does it, post at normal, at minimum, or at maximum. I'm going to have it post at maximum if it goes above maximum because that helps boost the value of the items if somebody else is trying to overprice them. Next, you choose how many how many posts you will post and how many items go in each of those posts. If you only want to post one of this item in stacks of one because it's a single high val and that fits that this this specific operation, then this is what you're going to want to leave it at. This is basically, do you want to reserve some in your bag so that you never fall below a certain amount? I don't suggest doing this if it's something that you're just trying to sell out. Um, sometimes you may be trying to stockpile. You want to have 20 in your inventory at all times, but you want to sell whatever you have more than 20. So you would set the quantity to 20 and it will keep 20 no matter what and sell whatever you have excess. So if it's a crafting material you use and you need 50 per day, you might set it to keep 50 at all times. And then if you ever go above 50, you'll sell those. That's something you might do with, say, volatile water if you're, you know, mass crafting true golds or something like that for profit. Anyway, next, the 10 stack. You can pretty much apply everything the same. The difference is you will change the stack size to 10. Okay. And then you could choose how many stacks you want to post at a time all the way up to posting 200 stacks at a time. You could even post 200 stacks of 200 if you wanted. Same thing, stacks of 200. You might post, you know, you might limit yourself to 5 to 10 stacks because you know 5 to 10 stacks sell per day. And then you ch do the same thing with all the items here. I will also include a link to all of the pricing methods or pricing options on the TradeSkill Master website. They have a guide that shows every kind of value you can put in here uh, and use as your pricing I tend to just use DB Market now because it's easy and it's usually relatively accurate. Lastly, we'll make a mailing operation. And this is, I would say, the second most useful uh, thing. All you do is you put a character name and you just say you're sending it to them. Uh, send to char. Target player name, char. And, and that's all you do. And now when you go in here, if you have a group and, and you have to um, go to your groups, pick this, assign the operations, override, choose the operation, single high val because these are transmog items, so they're clearly single high value at items, send to char. Now, when I go into here, TSM groups mailing, it will automatically send to char, boom, when I hit this button. Then... That, that makes life easier. You can have all of your groups, all your grouped items mail off to whoever they need to go to uh, that way. And then when it comes to auctioning, you just make sure that whatever you want to auction is selected. Start post scan. As long as there is an auctioning operation attached to the group that the items are in, those items will go. And I just hold it all and scroll the mouse wheel and everything gets posted that I have in groups with operations attached to it. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Uh, hope you guys look forward to the next video. This is a four-part series. So the next video is going to include more advanced grouping, more advanced auctioning, and more advanced uh, shopping as well as other operations. And so on and so forth in the following videos. Have a good one.